Hey everybody and welcome back to another video from Northeast Christian Apologetics. My name is Simon Williams and today we're going to be talking about Christian suffering. We're going to be talking about when Christians suffer. The verse that we're going to be using in order to jump into this topic is 1 Thessalonians 3.3, which reads, So that no one would be unsettled by these trials, for you know quite well that we are destined for them. What were these trials that Paul was referring to? In chapter 2, Paul wrote, For you, brothers and sisters, became imitators of God's churches in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus. You suffered from your own people the same thing those churches suffered from the Jews, who killed the Lord Jesus and the prophets and also drove us out. In chapter 4 of this epistle, Paul's going to go on to say, Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. The Thessalonian church was experiencing persecution from people who were not part of the church. The persecution could have been harsh enough to have caused the death of some of their members. Paul wanted to remind the church that they should expect persecution because the forces of evil are going to be out in full force during these end times. Today, we can still expect tribulation because we have seen it demonstrated throughout church history. Jesus himself told us that in this world, we can expect to receive troubles. The point of Christianity is that even though we are going to see troubles, in this time, we can count on God to preserve his church throughout all that persecution, throughout all that tribulation. Nowhere will you find that Christianity teaches that you will not experience suffering. What is taught in the Bible is that you will experience suffering to varying degrees, but that the suffering, the trials, the persecution, all that will not overcome God's church. Paul also wrote elsewhere that God would supply all of our needs in accordance with his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Writing those words while in prison, Paul demonstrated that he had learned to be content no matter what the circumstances are. He had learned the secrets of persevering through the curses of riches and abundance and the curses of hunger and want. He could do all things through the Lord who strengthened him. So when we're faced with a lot of trials and difficulties and tribulations, we should count it a blessing that we have been counted worthy to receive such honors, knowing that suffering is a way for us to be made perfect, just as Jesus was, who, though he was without sin, learned obedience through that which he suffered. Jesus was made perfect through suffering. Therefore, we should see the hardships and suffering that we experience in this life as something that God brings about to do us good strengthening our trust in him and our obedience, and ultimately, increasing our ability to glorify him. So, what do you think about this topic? Have you experienced any suffering in your life? How has God helped you to overcome that suffering? Is it something that you're experiencing now? Are you afraid of suffering in your future? If you are, then I definitely recommend you pray about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please uh, check out our website at www.nechristianapologetics.com. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit that like button and please uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That'd be really appreciated. And stay tuned for next week for our next Theology Thursday. Thank you and God bless.